Hello, my name is Becky, and today I'm going to teach you about plant reproduction. I'm going to use a hibiscus. Here are the parts of the plant we're going to focus on. The petals, the anthers, the ovary, and the stigma. If you're an organism, you will need to reproduce. Otherwise, there will be no more of the species, and the species will die out. You've probably heard of endangered animals. Well, there are also endangered plants. But if a plant reproduces, it won't become endangered. I'll show you how a plant reproduces. A pollinator, which can be a bat, a bird, or a bee, flies to a flower and collects pollen. Then it flies to a different flower. Here's a diagram of the flower split in half. So, the pollinator will fly to the flower and drink the nectar, and some pollen will rub off. This is the stigma the petals, the anthers, the pollen tube, and again the ovum. The pollen will be on the stigma. It will go down the pollen tube into the ovary where there will be a plant sperm. It will fertilize the sperm and turn into a seed. Then the seed will grow so big that the petals fall off and it's just a seed. Eventually, the seed will find its way to ground and it will be planted either by a human or by nature. And it will grow into a big plant. 